Who dumped hundreds of pounds of pasta in New Jersey? A bizarre, more than unusual mystery that has baffled a community in New Jersey tonight appears to be solved finally. 500 pounds of pasta, we're talking macaroni, mm -hmm. ziti, spaghetti. It was all dumped Such a waste. stream in the town of Oldbridge for nearly a week now. The question of who left it there has consumed residents and police. Until now, and we have some answers. Here's New Jersey reporter Tony Yates. It took about 15 wheelbarrow trips to dump all this pasta. The questions and puns began almost as soon as I wonder who it was. Pasta discarded by a Which stream, Batman villain was it? Online and shared who done it and why. It was Nina Jocknowitz who posted. The township has no. Oh, I thought it was her that did it. I was going to say you, we don't have Harpy. We have dumps. We, the funny dump this time was pasta, which of course you all picked up. Well, several people on the street, including Nina, say they know who did it, but they all circled the wagons around that neighbor, a sensitive situation, they say, a person they care deeply about and want to protect. We honored their wishes on that, but it oh. the one issue that Nina... Is so we're just going to let them get away with the crime then, huh? They're openly admitting they know who committed it and they're not sharing it. I say lock them all up as accomplices. Are you kidding me? A high-profile madman like this wasting 500 pounds of good pasta? You're lucky I'm not the sheriff. Is adamant about bulk garbage. It's a financial constraint. When you throw out a couch, it's three hundred dollars. To call up Sodexo or waste management, it's a few hundred dollars for every single thing you want to throw out. And some people have taken True. to secret Expensive. and illegal dumping as their go-to answer. We found this hideaway a few hundred feet away from a waterway. TVs, grills, Jesus Christ. bedroom furniture, construction material. Apparently, it's easier for people to go dump stuff in the woods than get rid of it properly. Christopher Eskison has for years taken his kayak out along waterways, snatching out of the estuaries what illegal dumpers discard. I wound up getting four dumpsters, filled all the dumpsters to the brim of tires and furniture and other upstanding citizen that just washes up and floats up. It's very frustrating. And about the pasta. Department of Public Works did a great job cleaning it up, as always. Jonkowitz, who once ran for city council, says it would cost less than $100 a year to add bulk service to regular garbage pickup, but she says the township voted it down with the pasta fiasco. Okay, this is almost a protest then. Stay on sites like this. Hey, at that point, dump it in more public areas. Really make a point out of it. Nice. I didn't realize there'd be such a rich history to the pasta. I still want to know who did it. Makes a resub pog. It's sweet, Rick, but no thank you. I'm wishing you the best for it, though. Thanks, the resub Spencer. It's just some random person. It doesn't really matter, does it? It does to me, goddammit. 500 pounds of pasta. We're not dealing with a regular person. We're dealing with someone in power. We're dealing with someone at the top of the food chain of pasta. This might go all the way up to B Boy RD himself. Where does it end? Right now, we let 500 pounds of pasta slide. Then what? Where do we go as a society from there? Thanks to Resub Toe and Lux. And the Prime Jeffrey. And the Bits Again Wes, thank you. And the Bits Goodness and the Prime Jeans. Oh, I didn't see that was a link. I'm sorry, West. I can't click links. Just tell me what it was. The second video has it, I'm pretty sure. Now we have some answers related to what you could call a macaroni mystery today. Somebody had dumped mounds of noodles in the woods there in New Jersey. Now, as you may expect, the pasta dump lit up social media, but now we know more about where it came from. News for Why would I expect that? What do you mean, as you might expect, the pasta dump lit up social media? I, I wouldn't expect it to. You dump pasta in the forest, I feel like that's the last thing I'm going to hear about. <laughs> He's talking about it like this was inevitable. 
Here's New Jersey reporter Brian Thompson went to Old Bridge to find out. I look down, seen alphabets, noodles, spaghetti. Oh God, I'm sorry, Keith. 200 pounds. At first, these stumbled across the crime scene, traumatized. Here in South Old Bridge, dumped along the banks of Virusic Brook, one after the other after the other. Keith Roast may have seen them first. It was probably like three days ago. Walked through the woods. Uh, I was just going through the trail, seeing about, about just a pile of pasta. But these were not cooked noodles dumped from a restaurant kitchen. They were raw and before the rain came hard and neighbors say they came from a nearby home up for sale He's a bit the West veteran in moving out of his Kanji. mother's home after her death and having changed over the years since he got out of the service i mean i really feel like he was just trying to clean out his parents house and they were probably just stocked up from covid they were just probably oh, the true. like my grandparents always had a cupboard full of cans and pasta and you know just to be safe but none of this stopped the pictures from going viral on social media with captions such as lead suspect is a guy named al denty another now how did you Denny's fuck that partner. up the joke was right it, the joke was literally literally written down you couldn't say al dente properly you had to fuck that up god news anchors are actual robots lynn guini or we should send the perpetrators to the state penny tentury god that's and read it in a it nutshell pasta expiration date oh god jesus Still, christ no Fuck joke to neighbors i just moved in right next door so that would have been a big mess to start cleaning all the flies in the house maggots but the dpw came in soon after it was called to clean this site up leaving only a handful of noodles lying around removing all the rest even as some in this town wished it had regular bulk pickups which may or may not have covered picking up pasta packages the mayor tells me no harm, no foul. The state DEP agrees, so I guess case closed on this. <laughs> I thought he was going to eat it. <laughs> In Old Bridge, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York. I wish, man, if he had eaten that, he would have been a fucking hero, honestly. He blew it. He fucking blew it. Let me see Jake engulfing. I hope it goes well, Raccoon. Thanks for the resub. Wishing you the best of luck with it. Thanks for the resub, Salami. Congrats on the graduation. And the resub, Farley. They gave Wubby some mighty honkers on his new game, gamer sups flavor. Does Wubby have his own flavor now? I didn't see him post about it. Is it out or is he just like leaking it? Thanks, he said Weeb in 147th Inspector. Comes out on Friday. Oh, nice. That's hype. I tried gamer subs again like a month ago. I got like a big box of a bunch of flavors. Well, it probably wasn't a month ago. It probably wasn't even that long. But I got a big box of a bunch of flavors. It like it's really good actually. Thanks to reset Brucifer. He leaked it. Yeah, it seems like he did. What's it called? Did he say the name? Is there a sub J dog? God, thank you for all the bits, West. No, no worries at all. So, what are you sharing? I I can't click the links. Like, I literally can't. So, I don't even know what it is. It's called Brand Risk. That's a good name. Thanks for your poo. But I'm going to say exactly what I said about G Fuel flavors. One of my pet peeves is when you just name a flavor something that has nothing to do with the flavor. So I have no fucking idea what I'm getting. So like the, all of the Gamer Subs flavors I tried were like I liked them. Even the ones I think I didn't think I would like. 
But I had no fucking clue what any of them were. Because their names like Titty Milk, Guacamole, Gamer Fart, 9000, Emotional Damage. And G Fuel had the same problem with all of their flavors. But at least some of them had like normal names like ours, Divine Peach, you know you're getting peach. And then it shows the uh, Kiwi and Dragon Fruit as well. Like I just have no fucking clue what I'm actually drinking. Like what the flavor is. It's just like, ah, oh, it tasted good. Thanks the bits goodness. You see IGN the other day flat out say they don't even review most of the games they make reviews for and they normally just toss a 7 and pretend like they played it. Sounds like you got trolled. I doubt that's real. Do you think working from home will go away? What? No. I think that's only going to get more and more prominent. <laughs> 